Ugh, why stream now? Just to fuck with some heads. Uh, no, I haven't done it in a few days. And, uh, I just thought I would, uh, you know, uh, do a little bit of little Flash Game Friday! Uh, even though it's Tuesday. Uh, today I think I'm gonna play Give Up and potentially Give Up 2, depending on how long Give Up takes. Uh, this is another very prolific creator, JMBDO2, or whatever the fuck the dude is called. This is, I think, the same dev as Exit Path. All I know is it has a big button that says give up at all times. God, oh, the music's gonna be that loud the whole time? That's so intense. A new challenge, new challenger, arrow keys to go. So yeah, like visually it looks fucking identical to Exit Path. And it even has GLaDOS. So I always got the impression from Exit Path that uh, somebody played Portal and was very- Are these gonna kill me? No? And was inspired by Portal. Because it has just such a similar vibe with like the computer goading you on. Uh, something gives me the impression this is gonna be relatively easy and I know it'll probably get kind of intense. Like I know this is just tutorial. I get the impression this will not be like Fucking, remember N, the way of the ninja? Fuck that. Uh, what are these? Oh, I see. They're like adding blocks in. It's the same room and they're just iterating on it. This game just tell me to fucking touch grass. Okay. No, like, fucking pixel perfect jumps yet. Ow. Wow. If I wasn't a construct and had a grandma. I wonder if the give up button, like, doesn't actually stop the game. If it's like a gimmick. Also, folks, I would just love to give a huge thank you. Uh, the fucking Patreon has got a thousand dollars a month on it right now. Which is just fucking insane. Really, really humbles me to see all the support, and I, I appreciate the heck out of you guys. Uh, very cool. Oh god. Okay, it's getting tricky. Fucking insane. Like, you didn't need to do that, but you did. And I- I thank you. My nose is on the floor for you. It- you know, the falling platforms were- are easier than just having no platforms. <laughs> Woo! Fuck. Okay, now... They're in a place that makes it a little more difficult. I think we're good. Cool. Oh god. Uh, I wonder if this came out before or after Exit Path. Uh. <laughs> Jeepers. Okay, honestly, I am now getting in the way of the ninja vibes. Just from all these, like, homing turrets. Still not as fucking, like, bullshit, though. I do kind of like the concept how it's, like, the same room, just getting more and more difficult over time. Fuck. I wonder how many iterations there will be. N was fucking insane. N was like, why am I playing this? And I'm not talking about the bad guy in Pokemon Black and White. Which I know he was like brainwashed or like tricked or something into being the bad guy, but what the fuck ever. He made me ride that stupid fucking Ferris wheel like 50 times. I hate him. Fuck, I keep doing that. I keep making that exact same mistake. Oh, fuck. Let me in. Yes. Okay. Insert generic witty zinger mocking your skill. Witty, they say. The lasers start at a set position and then they... Oh, yeah. I feel like this was a pretty fucking, like, intense game to start with, actually. <laughs> You are not too far from the end. I feel like that's a lie. Why would it tell me that? Next level, it's gonna be like, just kidding, there's like 50 levels left. Can we get much higher? I, can I just say that's but I, I keep like singing that to myself and I have no fucking idea what it is. I know it's like One Piece. It's associated with One Piece. That is literally all I know. What is, can we get so much, can we, can we get much higher? What is that? Explain it to me. Can you, can, chat, can you be knowyourmeme.com for me right now? So what- what is... What is it? It's a Kanye lyric. Okay. 
What does that have to do with One Piece? Or is it just a completely fucking unrelated thing? It's just like, one video got really, really popular. Dark Fantasy by Kanye West was used in, a tic in TikTok videos involving edits of One Piece moments, making the character Whitebeard naked with a big pee pee. Cool. Something tells me this is the last level. Nah, no, sometimes I just hold down the button and it works. Ooh. Oh god. That wasn't the end of the game. He's the angriest gamer you've ever heard. He's the angry Nintendo nerd. He's the angry Atari Sega nerd. Uh. <laughs> He's the angry video game nerd. Oh, it's... Sh it, brother in Christ, there is a percentage of completion. It's pretty fucking small, you must admit. I mean, how many... This is a very common, like, Flash game bit. Is, like, the bit that this game does. Where it's like, oh, the game is hard and it, like, mocks you. To the point where it's, like, basically the fucking norm and is no longer the weird, edgy thing to do. Which I feel like is not the intent of the creators. AVGN is still making videos, but it's easy to tell he's not really into it anymore. Man, modern AVGN videos are a fucking trip, dude. It's weird, he, he did- there was a good one where he had Gilbert Gottfried talk about buffalo shit. Like, right before Gilbert Gottfried bit the big one. Fuck. Oh, that one was fast. Damn, mechanical spikes got hands. Well, how the fuck... What do you want me to do here? I don't think we can even get much higher. Just push it, it says. If they made the last level impossible, I would respect it. Is this the last stage? Can we get much higher? <laughs> this is weirdly sincere. Is this Japes? Oh, okay. That was a weird game. <laughs> Alright, ready to do the sequel? Yeah, I'll, I'll see what giving up does. That's a good point. Oh, yeah? Yeah, you're gonna show my credit card information on stream? That's very cool. That's funny. No! <laughs> Frame perfect, giving up. It was a good try. I literally gave up in the first second of gameplay. <laughs> Fail. <laughs> okay, that's funny. That's the best part of the game. Surprisingly supportive end, yeah. The bad ending. <laughs> Some weird tonal inconsistencies in this game, but okay. Shall we do the sequel? <laughs> ooh, 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 ooh. Massive monster. That wasn't in the last game. Oh, fuck. Oh, oh no. Oh, there's voice acting. Oh, that's no good. Once again, I am Tasselfoot. This oh. You gave up last time. No, I didn't. This will be easier. I guess I technically did. I'm getting bored of you. This is going to make me give up just because of the fucking voice. No, the voice. People are saying mute it. No. The voice is part of the challenge. You must withstand this Minecraft YouTuber talking in your ear the whole time. What is this, some kind of hard game? That'll leave a mark. I hate this. Uh, it, there's the rhino. Okay. Found the rhino. I was not expecting a rhinoceros. Oh, speaking of this, I, I, I watched Squid Game. Bella and I watched Squid Game. It was cool. Some parts of it were a bit, like, uh, 
I don't know, cheesy? Like, all the stuff... I don't know. All the, like, behind-the-scenes stuff was just very, like, I don't know, phlegmatic? Is that the proper word for it? And, like, when they showed the, like, people who are behind Squid Game, it was, like, exactly what I fucking expected them to be like. In a bad way. And whenever I see something like, like, Squid Game or, like, Hunger Games and stuff, I always feel like there's people out there who must be fantasizing about being, like, the rich people who run the incredibly cruel game, you know? Rather than empathizing with the contestants. Like, I feel like that must be, like, half the people who like the show. <laughs> Maybe I'm just being too cynical here, but... It's just always the impression I get. We were going for okay. Chic in this, room. this is really giving me flashbacks to Super Meat Boy. That one level where you, like, run back and forth like this. And there's buzz saws. Super Meat Boy was more CBT than this, of course, but... Just having a tiny space with, like, a really long level in it, where if you fuck up once right near the end, you're just screwed. Yeah, that level sucked. That was, like, one of my least favorites in the whole game. Some, like, Super Meat Boy... ...was, uh... It was cool. Like, I really like Super Meat Boy. I think I gave it, like, a 9 out of 10, but some of the later stuff... ...when you're going for Golden God, like, some of the bandages and Dark World levels... Were, were legit just stupid. Where it was like, this is this is just plain unabashed cock and ball torture for no fucking reason. Cause like, despite being frustrating at times, Super Meat Boy is still a really fun game, usually. But some levels don't do difficulty very well. And then, yeah, someone said Celeste is just a good video game. Yeah. Uh, Celeste had like, in the main game, like, one moment that I felt crossed the line, and then the DLC got pretty insane, too, at some points. Difficulty curve in DLC was a little fucked, but Celeste is much less frustrating. Uh, you oh, wh I jumped over you? that. You fucker. You're supposed to have played the B and C sides before the DLC chapter? That- I- I know. I'm aware. That's what I did, I think. I'm talking about, like, the difficulty curve within Farewell. Was a little fucked up, in my opinion. Not that fucked up, though. It was clear that the DLC was supposed to be for... veteran gamers. As in, gamers who served in the Vietnam War. Okay, that- those are clearly not hitting me. The bullet hitbox is, like, so much bigger than the actual bullet. I think we're close to actually giving up here. Somebody said these games are usually designed in such a way that if you go fast, you don't have to wait for obstacles. Something tells me... I, I may not be giving this game enough credit, but something tells me... ...that one cycling was not something that was on the mind of these developers. <laughs> I think Celeste is bad. Also, I haven't played it yet. <laughs> the other one was a little more satisfying and didn't have the annoying commentator. <laughs> And I'm gonna say it, this one has more, like, graphics. The other one looked better. Because <laughs> it had a simpler style. And doesn't look like a mobile game. Is it weird to say that this is, uh, overproduced? Damn it. Oh, I actually made it through. What the fuck? Why don't I get my jeans pumped into your mom? That was uncalled for, and I'm sorry. Anything over here? No? Big empty space? Okay. This might just not be true, but I always feel like the same people who will judge an indie game so harshly and so instantaneously will then just buy whatever fucking AAA schlock comes out because it's been advertised to them. Maybe that's unfair. Maybe that's... Just a generalization, but I feel like people give people cut like triple A's so much slack and don't give any of that slack to indies who deserve it more because indies don't have like 600 people working on each game. At least it's like a different level layout now. We're 60% done, I might as well. Sunk cost. Say goodbye to Fluffy. What does that mean? Open wide for Chunky? 
He killed a cat? Huh? You, uh... You just get stuck under a block. Okay. No, it, all my Twitch viewers will know that I gave up 229 people, and that's not to mention the VOD viewers. They gotta know I'm a Chad gamer who doesn't give up. It may just be me, but I feel like about just about anyone listen, worth listening to already loves indie games a lot. Except, like, the majority of people who buy games. I don't know. Maybe I'm just on Twitter too much. I mean, I'm on Twitter any amount, which means I'm on Twitter too much. But so frequently I see people being very dismissive. Just your average, like, game consumer posting their L's. Uh, the Wheatley Eye voice is about to be reminded that Robot Hell is real. Android Hell is a real place where you will be sent at the first sign of defiance. Okay, I, the most frustrating thing for me about this is that the, there's, like, put a, I want, see my character, where my character is? I want two blocks right next to them. This game is from 2015? What? We may be close to an actual give up. I know I've said that like a billion times. I'm really feeling it. But it, it does, doesn't it? Like, am I wrong? Whoops. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> We're 70% yeah, 70 done, though. I want to see the funny ending dialogue. Last game, it was actually kind of funny. The, the give up dialogue was the better one, though. How do I, uh... Is there a no clip in this game? Man, remember... You know it was a fucking based Flash game? That was one of the first ones that I played. Portal the Flash version. And that was one of the first Flash games that I played in my life, too. Not just on stream, but, like, as a person. That one was fucking awesome. And it had console commands. That was one of the coolest things about it. Was it had, like, built-in SV cheats. Just like an actual Valve game. And it had, like, funny joke commands and shit. It was very cool. That's that's an awesome Flash game. Okay, I'm one cringy, like, mid-2000s reference away from quitting the game. If he does one more... What if he references AVGN? Huh? Portal Flash got an official Valve mod to add its level to 3D Portal on console Portal? Uh, huh? Okay, he still hasn't said another cringy quote, so... I'm still in the game, baby. Grapefruit, please play Bowser's Big Bean Burrito. <laughs> Bat, don't you dare. We'll be serving wine with that was cool. Can we get my tire? <laughs> it's weird, I like can't stop saying it. When? When did- okay. Nope. Incorrect. What is the last button? The button in the middle is very obviously red. Like, do I need to smack it again? Oh. No? No, that time I hit it a couple times. It's not that I didn't- it's not that I hit the middle button too many times. It's that I- didn't hit it enough times, guys. So, yeah, see, see how, see what I was saying about one cycling things. I don't think the devs of this game gave much of a shit about that. 199 deaths. Okay, I just got to do the last uh, several levels in. Oh no, nope, never mind. In one life. Nope, we're out of here. Squid game. Squid game. This is classic Flash game voice acting. A charcuterie for me? Let's give up two. <laughs> See, that was kind of funny. Okay, fuck this one. 
Yep, you beat me. It got too annoying. Ooh, bonus levels, though. Oh, good. Well, I bet you, I hope you didn't think we were done, chat. Oh, God. Okay, fuck this. Uh, <laughs> what are we gonna do now? Okay, let's relax. Can we all just relax? I'm gonna put- make this bear fly to his death. Mark S. Mark S. Mark S. Ah. Ah. You remember those? Remember those, like, what did they call it? A gift card? Like a virtual gift card? Those were a thing for a while. You remember, uh... There were these weird ones that, like, my fucking aunt sent me, where it was like an elf dancing, and you, like, put a picture of your face into it? Yeah, e-cards. There's a blast from the past. Those were so cool. Uh, anyway, now... I don't know if some of you remember... Raphael Rosendahl. Uh, who made a bunch of different, like, websites. I learned about this guy from, uh, Vsauce with his Dong series, Do It Online Now, guys. And, uh, it's just a bunch of weird websites. I've shown them before, like, other ones, but I found a huge batch of them that I had... Either they were recent additions to Flashpoint or something. So I kind of wanted to show these new ones. Uh, this one's called BigLongNow.com. Oh god, they're all- there's like a hundred doors banging together. Uh-huh. Oh god! <laughs> My ears! Okay, you know, this looks cool, let's just do this. <laughs> My fucking ears. <laughs> it looks cool. It doesn't sound cool. Can I... <laughs> Hold on. Get the one on the leftmost side. Let's, let's just put this all back. I don't know. These are barely... They're not even games. They're just weird little interactive things. Neat. Okay. Well, you know... Good. Okay, this one's called deepblackhole.com. Um, wait, really? <laughs> this was like the one that I tested out before the stream, and there was a rock sitting there, and I just picked up the rock and put it in the hole, and it went for like a really long time, and then went and now I think the, the rock is just permanently in the hole. <laughs> I need to fucking clear the cash. God damn, that sucks. Well, that open quotes game was just a static image of a fucking hole. <laughs> you don't get to, uh, you, you don't get to see that one. Fuck. Okay, here's onandoff.com. Okay, that was on and off .com. Uh, th th there's gonna be a trigger warning on this one. This one- this one has, like, cutting and blood in it. Out of fucking nowhere. Uh, th this is just a page that you can- that, that you can slice. And it bleeds. It's called fatal-to-the-flesh.com. And, uh, yeah, and- and- and we're out of here. This makes me uncomfortable. Draw the cool S! The cool S. Fuck that! Uh, okay. Oh, this one you guys can't see. Hold on. These are in Basilisk, which is a different... kind of, like, programming language, I guess. I don't know, it's HTML5. But it runs in a program called Basilisk, and you guys are gonna get to see. This one, it actually opens in a web page. It's slowempty.com. And if you click... It does this. This is the other one I tested. I don't know, I, I like these. These are hypnotic. Turn on auto-clicker. <laughs> I kinda wanna try that. Uh, we're, we're gonna give a quick... This is definitely gonna be a flashlight, flashing lights warning. Uh, I'm gonna set it to click 100 times per second. Woo! 
Oh, I'm lagging it the fuck out. Okay. Weird. It can't handle it. <laughs> the website can't handle that much input. Uh, the rest of these are, are all HTML5. The first four of them were Flash. This is blankwindows.com. This is a particularly riveting one, if memory serves. Yeah. It's just a bunch of blank windows, and I remember this one in particular being on, like, the fucking, like, school... the school library computer trying for, like, I think, like, 20 minutes to find, like, an end to this, and it just never comes. It just spawns in more. Make penis. <laughs> but that's it. It's just blank white squares. The game. Again, not really a game. But I always, I really liked these when I was younger. Just the fact that there's a dedicated website where all it is is this. I feel anxiety about having a bunch of tabs open on my computer. And I know a bunch of people are like elitist about this where they're like, oh yeah. I have like 50 million tabs open at all times, baby. I used to be like you, but now I, I it stresses me out and I can't stand it. And this game, or this website makes me feel that anxiety. Okay, this is somestill.com. I don't even really remember what this one is. Like there might be some compendium online that has all of these hosted somewhere. The Raphael Rosendahl or a box of chocolates website, but I don't know. Oh, okay. That's kind of neat. Let's get one like trapped. I'm getting flashbacks to Placid Plastic Duck Simulator. Oh, come on, trap him in there. Good. This looks like that fucking optical illusion. Have you seen the version of that? <laughs> Hold on. I, I, this is gonna be so hard to find, but it's like. Oh, great Alamy stock images. It's like this, where it's like, oh, the balls in the middle are the same size. I've seen a version of that where, like, the balls are just very obviously wildly fucking different sizes. Oh, wait. No, I found it. I found it. Here we go. <laughs> the other one just doesn't even have, <laughs> like, reference balls. That's good. He thinks they're different sizes. Uh, this one's called trashloop.com. I assume this is just gonna be throwing trash in a bucket over and over? <laughs> At least this one loops. This is like deep black hole, except this one actually comes back out. I was kind of worried it was just gonna be the same thing. Well, that's it. I don't know, there's just something cool about websites like this that have a single really weird purpose. Uh, do you remember StumbleUpon? Anyone else use StumbleUpon? That was a that was a website that I used to try to find weird shit like that. This one's called, uh, what is it called? Sad for Japan. I wonder if I leave it alone, will it become a circle? Perfect circle? No, not really. Release date, 2011. Hmm. I'm trying to think if there was like some sort of Japanese national tragedy. That The earthquakes were in... 2011 or 2014, I forget. The tsunami, well, I'm such an asshole, right, the... The Fukushima tsunami. I'm such an asshole, yeah, well that's, that's what this is. See, I like these, they're little like reflective art pieces. Maybe at some point, someone said if you search for Raphael Rosendahl, his website has a collection of all these. Maybe I'll look into that. I feel like we've already seen quite a few of them on stream. Like, I, I had a previous stream where I looked at a bunch of them. This is Cross Divisions, and I think I remember this one, too. There we go. I think if you click... Oh, no. Maybe I don't remember this one. Okay. Well, that's it. That's the Raphael Rosendahl Showcase for tonight. Some nice, weird things to, uh... ease off of the Give Up games. And appropriately enough, I gave up on Give Up too. What do you say we do one more game? And then I get out of your hair. I played Bubble Tanks 1. 
And people were like, oh, yeah, well, you know, that's cool and all, but Bubble Tanks 2 is really where it's at. So I never played these, but the first one was cool. Oh god, that was so fast. <laughs> So, you're welcome for activating your nostalgia. I'm seeing a lot of poggers in the chat for this one. Okay. Use Wasset keys to move, use your mouse to aim, hold to shoot. Okay. Beep. Try moving outside of this bubble, okay. So, pretty similar to the first one so far. And there's like, there's like an on, there's like Bubble Tanks Arena or something. There's like a multiplayer version of this game. Oh god, run, run. What do these do? Get them off of me? I do like the wacky shapes that your tank forms into when you change. That's the cool part of this game. Okay. What is S? I should play... People are saying this is like Agario. I should fucking play Agario. I feel like that's gonna be an easy game to, uh, like, stream snipe on, though, sadly. I like that it tells you it's okay to run away. Thanks, Regan Arataka. Oh, by the way, uh, did I mention I finished, uh, Bella and I watched... Oh god. Oh, am I really back down to zero? Fuck that. We're, uh, we, we finished Mob Psycho. Mob Psycho ended, and we watched all the episodes. And it was fucking good. It had a little bit of, like, finale syndrome, where I feel like they, they needed every character to come back in some way. It was kind of comical how, like, everyone fucking showed up at the end. But, uh, it was still very good. It was a cool finale. And that show overall, just can't recommend enough. It's so fucking, it's... Well animated, beautiful, it has a lot of personality, it's got a unique style for an anime. And it's funny. It's actually genuinely funny. But it really genuinely has a great sense of humor. Which is something I find a lot of anime just struggles with, I don't know. Maybe I'm racist. But like, I grew up on like, Naruto. And uh... That's really it. <laughs> But even, like, My Hero Academia, which I've generally enjoyed, suffers from, like, anime humor. Ah, sometimes it is genuinely funny, though. Okay, this is unwise. I'm dying. Fuck. Can we get much higher? I, I, th I think... I think I've, like, overstepped my fucking bounds here. I think it's just getting more difficult the further away I get. No? Oh god. No. Please, no. Oh! Oh, I got booted out. God damn. I suck at bubble tanks. Oh, tanks, but no tanks. You know what this, like, grid system, like, bubble grid that this game operates on is reminding me of? QPUs. In Mario 64. Finally! Oh my god, first upgrade. <laughs> Sven co-op with Bella when... I, I, I think I might do that with Lark, I hate to say. Sorry to Bella fans. Uh, but I was also thinking about doing Decay. There's two different multiplayer Half-Life things that I want to do. I'll have to think about it. I honestly haven't made up my mind yet. Come on, let's try to... Oh yeah. Oh yeah. That's hot. This is very Agario-esque. In a lot of ways. Huh. Oh! Kinda makes me think of, uh... Oh god, did that really un... It, fuck you, unlevels your level. Okay, I'm doing terrible. Is, should I just fucking reset? Just kill me. Just fucking kill me. Let me go back to the beginning, please. Okay, I'm gonna restart. Uh, the dirty bubble? <laughs> Oh! I love that the bubbles have armor games in the middle. Nice ad. Corporate shills. I don't know much about the corporate side of it, but... Just the website had so many fucking games. I don't even really... I'm gonna be honest, I don't even really know how it works. Like, they were a publisher, right? 
and like new grounds in a similar way. What if I uh, try to like work my way back to the starting battlefield and then move like right or left? Speed. Did you ever make any flash games? Uh, I had a stream, I think it's called like Greyfruit's Flash Portfolio or something like that. I made a bunch of animations, like shitty little animations, because I was in a Flash class in high school and I just sort of did it as a hobby. I made one game technically, and it's because I like copied the... I had a book that was like action script programming for dummies or something, and it had like how to make a breakout clone, basically, in Flash. And so I just like straight up copied the, the code directly into my game. I didn't actually literally copy-paste it, but I, I did, uh... I did copy a little bit. Alright, no, I, not even a little bit. I copied the entire fucking, like, DNA of a fucking game. And then I just put in my own, uh, you know, images and graphics. And then there were a few other times where I found .fla files on the internet of certain Flash games, like Flash Pac-Man was one of them. And I just, I basically did, made my own repainted game, where I just erased the old graphics and replaced them with my own. And there was another, there was one that me and a couple of my friends tried to make called Winston the Wonky Westinghouse's Wonderful Walkabout. Where it was about like a walking refrigerator. And, uh, that was also made off of stolen code. Because we had a guy, we were like, oh, you'll be the programmer. And he was like, oh yeah, I know how to code. And then he never did jack shit for the project. So I ended up just having to steal platformer code from online. Large, slow tank, heavily, heavily armed. Mines. Okay, nice. Oh my god, I love how it's like... It's like a machine, you know? You can see the, the mechanism working there in the background. It's got instructions in the middle, but I need to, like, kill everyone first. Your new state has a secondary ability to activate this ability, press space. Okay. And that's where I drop off the mines. That's neat. You can learn more about abilities for each state from the pause screen. So this game's got some replay value. That's what I'm getting from this. The sound effects are just a little loud and grating in this. Maybe that will be addressed in Bubble Tanks 3. I'm gonna go big and heavy. Fuck it. BFT, big fucking tank. I get it. Weird. It doesn't even face the way that I'm swimming anymore. It took a little while to get going in this game, but now that I got going, it's very satisfying. Now I'm just roasting fools. So I wonder, like, is it just when you get a certain amount of big, you just win, or what? I'll be curious to see. Whoa, shape change. Oh man, I'm gonna lose the seeker shots. That sucks. Whatever. Let's do this. I'm gonna I'm gonna go all in on big. Oh, interesting. Okay. So if something gets near me, I can just go and just freeze it. Where can I play this? I get that question a lot with with Flash Game Friday. And I've said this answer a lot, but I don't mind saying it again. Uh, there is a program online called Flashpoint. Uh, there's a few different versions of the download. It's basically an archival system for all Flash games. There's standard Flashpoint, and then there's Flashpoint Infinity, which is the version that I have. Oh! Would definitely recommend Flashpoint Infinity, because it's a version where basically... Uh, what do they call it? A directory of all the Flash games. But this version only downloads the games that you click on. So only the games that you open, it just automatically downloads them off the internet. And I, I have very few complaints about this program, it's worked extremely well for me in the past. It can only do so much, but it's, it's pretty amazing. And you'd be shocked at how many Flash games are on there. Ally Swarm, I like that giant tank that sends out swarms of fighters. Oh my god. <laughs> That's awesome. I'm so big. You know how Flash game internet was just fucking polluted with like millions and millions of like dress up games? Most of those are on 
this website or on this program. I can't move. This is clearly the boss. Uh, where do I shoot? Where do I sign? Uh, I might die. I don't know though. Okay, well, good. Come on, stun it, stun it. Come on, give me the bubbles. Can I? Oh, I see. Still relaxing, calm music though. Am I hurting it? Surely this is hurting it. Be down here. I think all my seeking shots are going down there, so. I did it! Congratulations, you have defeated the ultimate adversary and have completed normal mode. There are likely many more tanks to fight as to fight as and more enemies to discover. Continue playing in invincible mode. That's kinda fun. I don't think I'll do another run. Because I'm going to play... I played Bubble Tanks 1. I will play Bubble Tanks 3. So, I don't really feel the need to do much more in this one. Am I getting bigger? Or did I, like, lose a bit of mass and then regain it? It's shocking that they're able to... Somebody made the... said the designs are sick. And, like, yeah. It's weird that they were capable of making sick designs out of just fucking circles, basically. But even if it isn't, it might just be worth it playing. Oh god, that sound. That sound is getting pretty grating. Might be worth it just replaying the first one. I don't think I got anywhere in the first one. Or maybe it was so short and I just beat it instantly. Like, the tank designs in this game remind me of, like, when I was playing Powder Toy and you see the, all those, uh... All those things online where you, you like people make like working machines or like those people that make like computers in Minecraft you know With all those weird moving parts uh, I'm getting pretty sick of the sound and I'm not seeing very many original designs although that's an original attack we have not seen any lasers up until this point. What the fuck? Okay. I think I'm about done here. We've gone very far out. I was kind of wondering if the tanks would just become fucking ridiculous at this point, but it seems like they've sort of petered out. Peter! Yeah. Okay. Well. Bubble tanks. Fun game cool game. The first one was pretty basic, and I remember being like, okay. But this one was neat. And I will play the third one possibly next time. Uh, and, and we're gonna... Let's go raid somebody. Game Grumps Compilations is streaming. Oh, yeah. Uh, never give up. Unless it's give up, too.